A major Springfield shopping center could be facing some real financial trouble tonight. Simon Malls, the company that owns the Upper Valley Mall, is more than $47 million behind on its loan. Jake Ryle is asking questions about the state of finances and what it means for shoppers and business owners. Well, Springfield's Upper Valley Mall is 43 years old, and much like many things that age, it might have just reached a midlife crisis. It's seen better days. Um, it's, it's a little dated um, when you go through just decor-wise. This week, Wells Fargo foreclosed on the Upper Valley Mall. Simon Malls had 10 years to pay off a $47 million loan. We checked, and as of today, they still owe $47 million. That means the Upper Valley Mall will soon be under new ownership. Well, when you get new owners, you sometimes get new enthusiasm, new ideas, and we've got a good product there. We just need to re-merchandise it. Clark County Commissioner John Dietrich has lived in Springfield his entire life. He says the mall just needs a facelift. It's still a very viable mall, and we're very optimistic that with a new owner in there, we'll be able to hold the good businesses that we have and grow them. The mall's anchor stores, Macy's and Sears, own their property outright, which means revenue collected from those stores does not go back toward the $47 million still owed. Collier's Family Restaurant up the hill from the mall has seen changes over the past 10 years due to new retailers off the nearby Bechtel Avenue. It's much easier for people to go there and, and do two or three things where we're kind of outlawing a part of that. And so you must it's, it make a special trip to come out here. With Upper Valley Mall foreclosed, Wells Fargo will search for a new owner. Commissioner Dietrich says the jobs at the mall will be safe moving forward. He says the mall may even be renovated to become an outdoor shopping center. So with the new concept coming, I would hope we would do 21st century merchandising, which is what people seem to want. And we'll be sure to update you on this story as soon as we hear back from Simon Malls. Reporting in German Township, Jake Ryle, 2 News, working for you.